Give you guys an update. I don't know how I'm gonna get back through this hall. It was pretty tight getting in here. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, there's a bird. I think I was gonna go chase it. Oh, how are we doing today? We're gonna go plant what we can left and then uh, start focusing on getting grass ready and getting sprayer set up ready. So, top off some seed and go from there. So what we got going on today is well, one, the rest of the fields are too wet. So even if I had the tractor running, it's not like we can go disc them and finish up planting corn. Uh, they're just wetter, wetter soil. So, and it just does more damage. With that being said, I'm perfectly fine with... Uh, I'm perfectly fine with having a few days in between. My goal is to split the tractor and then from there try not to hit people's cars, try not to hit the trees. So my goal is to split the tractor, have that ready to go. We're also gonna set the trailer up to go spraying and we gotta get all our equipment ready to go into grass. So no shortage of partying. Should look at the 7320 as well. They gotta fix that pump. But I think it's a wiring. I just gotta spend some time wrapping my head around it, chasing some wires. It's either that or the pump's junk. So. But with that being said, yeah, I got plenty of stuff to do. Today's Friday. So. Yeah, good thing there's a weekend. A lot of, a lot of time to go. I haven't got a confirmation that my parts are shipped yet, which is kind of odd for the clutch. I have a feeling I'm going to find more stuff wrong than just the clutch. I'm a little nervous on that. Just because the clutch is still engaging. I'm wondering if one of the fingers is bad, um, or if all the fingers are bad or something popped out. The fingers are $231 a piece and there's three of them. so definitely makes it more interesting. Um, it just starts adding up. Or the throwout bearings completely junk and it pushed itself back or something like that. Which I did get a throwout bearing. The plate itself you can't get. You can get a, a used one. I have a used one sitting in the other uh, parts, parts cab out back. So I do have that. So we'll see when we split it. Ooh, town boys are sitting in my driveway. Let's see if somebody's in here. So they're sitting in the driveway. Um, they're street sweeping the roads, so that's why they're they were sitting here. But we did split right because it was dry enough. We're gonna do split left. There is some geese up there, so somebody's gonna go get to run them. We'll get the planter set. Plant this one. Ooh, they're they're playing games with them. They landed back in the field. So we have a Canadian geese problem because they're no longer Canadian. They're pretty much American geese because they never migrate. So they sit around and eat everything, including corn seed as it pops up out of the ground. A lot of people said, oh, you just shoot them, this and that. That's frowned upon, especially with like houses right there. And 
house is right there, but yeah. I'm just reading through all the comments um, about my corn planter rant, things like that. I know there's options, there's cheap options to make this planter better, but at the end of the day, going to a bigger planter would make my life better. Since I do work off the farm quite a lot, and when it, if I could plant in half the time, things would be better. I could go back to my job sooner. So, plus I could pull into a field and get more done in a day by myself or with minimal help. So, that's part of the big thing. I know there's a lot of comments about, oh, we do a lot of land with the four row, this and that. That's, yeah. If all I was doing was farming, things would be okay. But we we do a lot of other things than that. So, with that being said, yeah, we'll see if it ever happens. If we get a bigger planter, hopefully. I do got a wet spot here, so <laughs> it is wet. There's standing water in there. Every year it's like that, but can't really do much about that. I don't think so. We could tile it. Or you put drain tile underneath the ground and it takes out excess water. It doesn't drain the soil, it just drains the excess out. That's what it's designed um, to do. And we could do that, but the problem is the water level is pretty dang close to there. So I don't think if we put tile down two foot that tile pipe would just be full of water. So. It's always like that on a dry year we plant through it, on a wet year we just plant around it. Then I got a field behind me that was wet. Another day when they tried disking it. Ooh, the rock. And uh, I have a feeling tomorrow I'm gonna go disk it and I'm gonna plant it. I would like to be pretty much done with any corn that I possibly can do. Next week we'll have to plant uh, our wettest sections of fields. So it will be like 15 acres that we haven't planted yet. Yeah, things are, I don't know, things are good. Yeah, bigger planter would be nice, efficiency, since for those of you who are new to the channel, I work off the farm. My father works off the farm uh, for the co-op. We do compost, ice cream. It's definitely unique. So as far as getting things done in an efficient, quick manner, it's a big part of it because it allows me to keep farming and having an off-farm job, which in the end, the off-farm job allows me to, well, one, have health care without me paying uh, for it uh, that's supplied through my off-farm job Two, have a good source of income and a stable income stable job and th well that's usually that's the biggest thing health care stable income I wouldn't be able to do a lot of what I'm doing if I didn't have that job. I would love to farm full time, but it is very challenging to farm full time and grow your business and your dreams like I have. You gotta farm a lot of land and we're never gonna get to that place. If I could go out and farm a thousand acres, then I could probably go farm full time and things like that. But if I'm far, if that's the case, it's definitely. I don't know what this is. It's rock. Silas Bison. A rock with silage plastic. That's odd. Um. So. Yeah, it. So farming here to begin with, living here to begin with, things expensive. I went to dinner last night and like. We just spend $50 at dinner easily. 
um it's just the key it's just the scenario of living around here so for me to say that i could go farming full-time and afford a life in this area would not be justifiable so that's why a lot of people do different things a lot of farmers in the area do different things family members work off the farm and help on the farm so that's where i'm at little description because i see it in the comments about what wanting to know more details on that so i farm, farm with my father i farm for myself doing the custom stuff that the farm pays for along with chopping for other people i'd like to haul manure for other people we'll see um and then i work for the d laval local d laval dealership so and then i do youtube and i gotta admit youtube lately has been pretty good so I appreciate you guys watching and liking everything else like that. It is becoming a full business. So let's go see what we got going on here. Oh, it's just silage plastic. I thought it was rock. The only way this could have got here was from when we used to spread uh, dry manure out on the fields. So that's been there a while. Before we did... Uh, liquid manure we used to haul all our manure when we were in a tie stall barn we used to haul all our manure two to three loads a day we'd haul it to the field and in the winter we'd stockpile and then spread it in the summer um, we kind of do the same thing so liquid was like a big game changer you ready to go come on yeah are you doing done planting for at least today hopefully get i don't know it's like three more acres i'll do tomorrow and then uh if i can disc it three three and a half acres and then i got two areas left to plant well, what i gotta do is get this unloaded so that we can start setting it up to go spraying so that is my next mission i don't know how much fertilizer is actually in it should be about a ton and a half maybe we'll find out well welcome me to my new home just kidding so i'm in the big white uh it's like a 28 2400 gallon tank one of those plastic white tanks it's hot in here you might be wondering why i'm in here i'm wondering why i'm in here too so to set the sprayer up, and I bet there's a wicked echo. Um, the sprayer trailer, I want to use this tank to fill water out of it. The problem was my father bought this and filled it with manure before I had tankers. And he had this in the back of a six-wheeler on gravity, just with a like dribble bar thing. It was unique. We got stuck a lot. Took forever. So, in here, it, we haven't used it in like six years, but it's just full of sand. I got most of this side cleaned out. We're gonna have to put a filter on. But oh, it's like, it's like 120 degrees in here. It's friggin' warm. So got this front to clean out still. They had pressure washed it previously, but I'm the first person to go inside. They're gonna get the vacuum cleaner, the wet vac, and we're gonna suck all this water out. And then uh, probably finish washing and suck all the sand out. I got it all drained in this way. Figured I'd give you guys an update. I don't know how I'm gonna get back through this hole. It was pretty tight getting in here. Yeah, this is all fun. Whew. Trying to get some fresh air. It's not so much the fresh air, it's just it's a lot colder outside. So, yeah, here's where I am. Hope you guys are having fun. I almost didn't show you this because I look like I'm a mess. We'll get it cleaned out. I got some ideas on building a nurse setup. It's not gonna be one of those professional trailers that has all the cool stuff, but it will be a lot better. It will be a starting point. So next year when I, I gotta show that it works before we actually invest money in having a trailer like that. So, 
hopefully it speeds up everything, makes life easier, and we actually set it up more and more to be a professional support trailer for spraying. Because that's a big part. It takes a while filling it like we have in the past. And then you don't get enough done in the day. Alrighty, they ran to grab me uh, the vacuum. So. Well, this is cleaned out as best I can. We're gonna have to add a filter and I know I'm gonna have some plug nozzles for the first probably year. But that should give me enough water to keep up. I just gotta wait on everybody to get back from lunch to give me a hand. Uh, I'm gonna auger out the fertilizer take the fertilizer spreader or tender off put the spray sprayer stuff on so i can get it all situated and plumbed and then uh yeah focus on getting the sprayer ready to go do that but then the fertilizer tender is going to go back on because after grass we put fertilizer on but in the meantime got this rig i didn't think i was going to do it today but got it hooked back up to the disc I really wish I had the 7520, then I wouldn't have any worry in the world. But yeah, called on parts this morning. They were waiting on one thing from deer to get to them. Probably the plate. So hopefully it gets sent out. I gotta get into splitting it, but I just would rather make sure everything is here. Just holding this up now. I need two hands. But we'll go disc. See if we can get that other field done that way everything everything around the farm um and most stuff in carlisle is done we just got two areas of fields pretty much left to do which will be easy once it dries out a little more just picked they're finishing up the corner actually so just picked i don't know four bu four buckets of rocks let me throw you back up there Somebody did ask me why I don't use a suction cup or why I don't use a suction cup. Strictly because I'm going from metal to metal usually most of the time. But I'm out of shape. So I'll just cover up where we drove. I'll make that smooth. And then uh, head home. I do got a broken uh, spring on one of the gangs for the disc, but it's sitting so good that uh, it's sitting on the mount, so I'm just going to finish up this little bit. I got parts ordered. I hit a big rock with it. Yeah, not a bad day. And then we're gonna go after the fertilizer, get the tank on the trailer, see where we're at. It actually was sprinkling a little bit, the weather's cooled down. I know we're wet, but I don't mind it raining some. Keep the moisture. Oh, we're dry in spots, but our wet spots are still wet. If that made any sense. I'll get the last ton. Take it out, put it in the spreader, and then we'll park it under cover. Get ready to go do some nursing with the tankers. Emptied the fertilizer tender into the spreader. Got almost three quarters of a load there. That would be good. Um, we'll get this thing off, and I'll slide the water tank on. So I'll have to have them drop me like a half, probably a ton.
haven't watched this before, well, go back and watch previous videos, but how I've unloaded this so far is just with the pieces of equipment. People have said, why don't you build legs and stuff that come out? Um, haven't got around to that. And this works pretty slick. Just takes two people though. We'll lift it up, I'll pull forward. And then I set it down. This is exactly why I made these hoses and not pipes, so I could roll it up. I gotta mount something so it can roll and be neat. But just gonna wash off the little bit of fertilizer that came out the service doors and slide that white tank on there. So let's see if we can do this without destroying this tank. I'm gonna pick this end up. He's gonna walk it over. Here's what I've been working on. Tanks on. Pump. Got the valving. Got the tote that I plan to mix in. Um, and keep in mind, everything I have on this trailer was kicking around. So that is why it's not 100% perfect, but it is hopefully gonna work. So my idea is Full of clean water, open your valve, that will go to the pump, pump it in here to how much water you need to fill the sprayer, dump your chemical in, have that valve shut, open that valve, pump it around, which will agitate it, since the issue we had last year was the sprayer struggles to agitate, um, yeah. New sprayer would be nice, but the sprayer itself works well. It's the agitation that is bad. Plus, filling it, things like that. So, this is why I'm coming up with this idea. So, you can agitate it around. Then when it's done, so the pipe that's going to go over will be a long hose, I'm thinking. It'll go up, and I'll just set it in the top, and it will pump around. And then when it's ready, sprayer backs up to you. Take that hose, put it in the sprayer, have that valve open, pump out what you need. I'm thinking I need to put this up a little bit of height so we get it all drained down into it. Um, but that is where I'm at. So this tank, I forget what's, is it a 2,400 gallon tank? So plenty of water. Like I said previously, this had a different life before this. Yeah, 2350. So put 2200 in it or something like that and go out spraying. We'll make our lives easier, quicker. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably gonna end up spraying. So I, I think so. That is where I'm at. It's actually, the trailer almost looks like it's meant for it. Almost. But that was part of my plan when I bought this trailer. So I appreciate you guys watching for today though. That's probably gonna do it. I'm yeah, it's Friday. I'm exhausted. We still got more to plant everything. So which is good. I like being exhausted at the end of the day. But that means I'm just gonna go home, 
and tomorrow we're gonna dive back into this along with a lot of other things my parts are getting shipped i got a shipping order for that so hopefully those are on their way probably see them monday but we can split it helicopter coming it's not my helicopter metal life so appreciate you guys watching make sure you're liking subscribing yeah still got more a lot more action coming so keeping these daily uploads coming because i enjoy it i know you guys enjoy it i'll see you guys in the next video